Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Welcome to another episode of Miracle Guidance. I'm Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Home Time Radio. And tonight, tonight I have a very special guest, and uh, she's going to take a look and interpret what is 23 doing for us according to numbers because we know that every year you know the energy changes and some years are good for transformation some years are meant to bring closure reflection some others are unpredictable and turbulent like 2022 but the only person you know my special guest uh, can actually dive into and analyze and give us an, a, a, a wonderful idea of what's happening to us and what can we do about everything that's, that's going on. And her name is Glynis McKen. You, heard, you know Glynis. You, she was many times on my show, but Glynis was on Dr. Phil, on Dr. Oz, on the Today Show, on uh, CBS The Talk, on The View, on Entertainment Tonight, you name it. She, she's been everywhere because she's actually the number one numerologist in the world. There's only one Glynis, and uh, you know, she's, she's studied numerology for 30 years. Her, her method is based on Pythagorean system and number that is 2,500 years old. But I don't want to go into all of that because there's so much we want to talk, and I don't think that Glynis needs too much of an introduction because we all know her and we all love her, and I adore Glynis, and I'm extremely grateful that she's, she's taking her time to be our guest and I, so Glennis, welcome to the show. But before before we start anything, I want to let everybody know, and that's very significant, that you are hosting a special event this weekend. And the event is called Online Numerology Workshop. It's an exclusive online event in which I know you will cover everything that's happening in 2023. So I know you guys listening, and we have so many of you listening, uh, should be part of this event. Now, Glynis will explain you the way numbers will shape up your life and what to expect during this year according to your personal year. And she will also be able to, you are able to, to send questions to Glynis. For that reason, I advise you to sign up today because you'll also get a free copy of 2023 Glynis Has Your Number calendar. Those calendars are phenomenal. You, I live by those calendars. And to get your tickets for the workshop, you simply go to her website, to Glynis' website, numberslady.com, numberslady.com, and click on the products. Seats are very limited. If you sign up right now, you get the calendar for free. And if you miss the event, it is recorded. So you can still listen to this event at a, at a different time. But uh, you can also get online reading and, and session with, with Glynis by simply going to numberslady.com. So, Glynis, welcome to the show. I love you. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you and how grateful I am to have you on with me tonight. Thank you so much for having me on, and I do want to do a quick clarification. The free PDF went until the 20th. That was called an early bird special. So they mm. don't get a calendar. However, the, the workshop itself, it's forty nine ninety five. Carmen, I never do a workshop that's that inexpensive. I do it, keep it at that low of a price point because I want everyone oh to God, show yes. up. <laughs> I yeah. cannot believe that price. I know, yeah, right? No. I keep it very no. low and it's to say, no. hey, you want to get this new year right? You want to hit the ground running? Then you want to join me this Saturday. That's what it's all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. 
Yeah. And they go to your website and they uh, uh, sign up and they uh, yeah. reserve it's their numbers, seats. It's numbercity.com. Yeah. And what's interesting, we're down to four tickets. Once those four tickets are done, we're done. So some the people listening, take advantage of it. What I do right. is I really walk through, it's true, what's in store for 2023, but I also take a look at you. You know, what personal year cycle have you entered? What should you focus on to get great results? And I also let you submit questions, and questions I answer throughout the class. So it's really right. action-packed. And for those who can't make it the day of, I do record it so they can refer back to everything I said. And they also right. get a special numerology worksheet so that if they, you know, they're afraid, hey, I don't know numbers, they don't have to know numerology to be a part of this. I lay it out in a way that they can understand. Now, you people online, because I know Shirley, she's online for an hour and a half. Rosemary from Ontario, Perry from New York, Leilani from, I think, California, Kim from Florida, uh, Rafala from Canada. All you guys listening to the show, do me a favor, go sign for this event. You will benefit so much from it. It's an opportunity that you're not, you don't want to miss. It's the beginning of the year. You want to have this chance, you know, to find, for this amount of money, is unbelievable. You know, what's $40 right? today? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. You don't need Never a grocery, do that. you yeah. buy nothing because uh, eggs are $11. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> all my courses are usually yeah. 150 250 So yes, for me to do course. this, it really is saying to the ones going, well, gosh, John, it, I don't really have money or I, I have a budget. I'm like, this you can still afford. And if this you, you what afford, I also yeah. do, Carmen, is I end up giving them like affirmations for their health, affirmations right. for the, the success of their career. You know, it's right. this is about just... Sometimes we feel lost, and it's hard for people to help us. Like, we don't know where to turn. The workshop right. is set up for people like that. It's like, look, right. you need some guidance. I can help you do that. And right. let me just say briefly, numerology itself, yes, it's a science of numbers. Pythagoras is the system that I use. It's over 2,500 years old. But the fact is I've done over 45,000 readings, and I oh have reached God. unique conclusions that Pythagoras did not teach me. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? No, he didn't. And so as a you. result, I'm able to help people in today's world and just help them find right. their way. So, it, And you and I have had the best time working together on this because I know you also have a great appreciation of the numbers and vibration. You know, we're all about when you meet someone and say, oh, this person feels really good to me. I'm really enjoying them. Or you meet someone and say, wow, they just drained me. I, I can't believe it. I want to go to sleep. They took everything I have. That is numbers. And that's where I come in to help you know well, who's who. I want to tell yeah. you something, Glynis. I want to share this with you. I was, it was 1993, 30 years ago. I was in New York, and I studied numerology with a guy who was actually a mathematician at Harvard University. Mm. And I went to his courses. I was so, he was so fascinated. It was the first time I was learning about this. And then, you know, you were my teacher, and I, I still have your books by my sure. best stand all my life. You know, since I know you, I admire you. I, I, you helped me so much. I learned so much through you. And, yes. you know, I want everybody to know how, if, if a professor at Harvard was teaching this concept, and then yeah. I learned from you more than I learned from the professor at right, Harvard. Right, because what he what yeah. he was mm -hmm. doing, he was being very medicinal. Yes, he was laying exactly. out, you know, the, the science of numbers. Anybody can read the numbers. It is interpretation that's the yes. gift. And my gift is God-given. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thank God exactly. every day for my gift. I'm very aware that I'm a vehicle. Gift. Yeah, yes. that it comes through an me and gift. changing lives is a blessing. And I know you do the same in your work. We know for a fact that you stay humble in that gift because it's a right. blessing to help people find their way. Absolutely. Truly. Absolutely. Yeah. You said it more beautiful than anybody could have said it. So let's go a little bit about, you know, as we enter this year, what can you yes. tell us, like, in, 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 synthesize what's this 23 Well, uh, all about? the first thing I'm going to tell you, when you break it down, keeping it simple, 2023, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 is 7. 7 is considered literally, like, the positive side is God energy. It's a spiritual thing. Right. It, it gives us permission, like people, especially people like you and me, we tend to be um, speakers and we're out there doing our thing. The 7 invites us to step back. It helps you observe your life. Take a real look and say, what do I want? Is this relationship good for me or should I let it go? Am I stuck in a job when I really want to do something else? It's time to make a move. So the seven 
helps you see things clearly. It is also a test of faith. And I believe what's happening in America right now with these shootings, this is too much. You cannot wake up every day with shootings. Mm. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. No. So here's what's happening with that. Now, coincidentally, that first shooting, which was in Monterey Park, is seven minutes from my house. I pass the place where that took place all the time. And yeah. so I say to myself, okay, there's a couple things. It is heartbreaking to think that we have become so political to pretend right. if, if we fix any gun law, you're trying to take my guns. That's simply not true. That, first of all, it could never happen. But right. here's what needs to happen. These weapons that can shoot, you know, 40 to 60 bullets in a minute cannot be on the streets. They, they cannot be. So I believe two things could happen. One, mental health. So those background checks, that should be the, throughout the whole United States. No one should right. be able to buy a gun that we don't know what's up with them mentally. Because clearly right. we're seeing it so completely right now. Number two, back in 1994, I believe it was, is when Bill Clinton did ban the assault rifle. And as a result, we dropped down to nothing when it came to the shootings. It, it really did. And then I think it was around 2000, maybe four or six, where when it expired... They decided to let lapse. Well, do you know that we have gone up in shootings 50% in the last five years? 50% increase and 75% increase in 10 years. So what I'm telling you is this. We, and I mean everyone us, forget your politics. Throw it out the door. We as human beings cannot sustain this. We cannot. Mm -hmm. So so I believe when I say to you the seven is test of faith, aren't we being tested right now? Yeah. Well, so I that's why I think mm -hmm. instead of feeling helpless and saying, well, gosh, you know, Congress is gridlocked, we'll never get an answer, I disagree. You know, this is becoming something you can't ignore. But there's so much more to this year. That's the only reason I'm bringing it up is every day, the last three days, it's been a shooting, shooting, shooting. It's, if I ignored it, that would be wrong on my part. But what else is happening this year? This year is actually when Mother Nature speaks up, and she will not shut up till you listen to her. So isn't that interesting? Yes. And look what we're seeing. We're seeing the snow, uh, record-breaking, yeah. re record-breaking floods, record-breaking everything. But it, what it really is, is Mother Nature is seven energy. Like, the beauty of seven. Everybody listening right now, first of all, I invite them to go numberslady.com. They should go to my menu where it says numbers so they can look up their life path. But anybody who's a seven can relate to this. They have such a love of nature's beauty. The ocean, the mountains, the plants, the flowers, the full moon, all of it speaks to their soul. And that's why this year we're going we're gonna to deal with that. Like, we're going to decide again, how do we preserve this, right? What we all have in common, by the way, is clean air, clean water. I don't know anyone who does not want clean air and clean water. Right, Garmin? Right. Okay, exactly. so that's a part of this yeah. year, too. Yeah. But what I love about it the most for human beings is the ones that are normally the the empaths and the psychics, the ones who care so much, right. they really get a chance to have better boundaries, to just step back and check in with themselves and say, am I okay? Am I happy? What can I do to feel better too? I think that's extremely important, so I embrace that. And let's talk about some of the people that have seven energy to give you an, an example of how extreme it can be. Putin. Putin is a seven life path. He's got right. actually double seven energy. What I say about seven, the seven either thanks God or thinks they're God. Yes. So what do you suppose he thinks he is? He thinks he's God. And of course you know he does. He's seven years old. So he's seven years old. He's a seven life path and he's in the seven year, no? No, no. This year he's actually in a cycle of six, and I'll tell you what that means. Six, okay. When you're in a cycle of six and you're seven, you know what that means? Confused and not sure. And if mm. there was ever a time this man can't afford to be confused and not <laughs> sure, it's Fair this enough. year. So here's what's interesting. Uh, when I looked them up last year, both men, Zelensky and Putin, Zelensky, in the beginning, remember, he, wa he was kind of in denial. He really didn't want to believe that Ukraine would yeah. be attacked. 
You know, right. he just didn't want to. Right. But then it happened. But what he did was step up. And I looked at his chart to go, how did he do that? And it's because he's a six life path. What do sixes do? They rescue the damsel in distress. Well, look what right. he did. I'll never forget the words when he said to our, our president, uh, they said, hey, do you need a ride out of there? And he says, I don't need a ride. I need ammunition. Like, the fight is here. So he was going to defend Ukraine no matter what. And, of course, people were blown away by that level of strength. You know, whether you uh, liked him or didn't like him didn't matter. You couldn't help but respect that this man was willing to stay. And so this year, he happens to be a six-life path in a personal year of six. So that actually does give him strength. However, we are dealing with a man, and when I say a man, I mean Putin. Putin's real comfortable killing people, like poisoning people, yeah. his generals, mm-hmm. his oligarchs. You know, a guy will be brushing his teeth. Next thing you know, he flew out of building, okay? So right. I know every single day Zelensky is in danger, but I believe Zelensky is wide awake. I think he gets it. Like, some people are kind of born for the life experience they have. This is him. I mean, think of his background. He was doing comedy. He played president in a show. And then here he is. Look at that. So that's Mm. numbers, but they also have a soulmate connection. And I'm going to explain what that means, Carmen. Soulmates, we always think soulmate's a good thing. We're like, ooh, soulmate, you know. When you have three numbers out of six, well, they share four numbers out of six. But a soulmate can also be the hard lesson. They're the ones who teach you what you never want to go through again. And clearly, Putin Putin never saw Zelensky coming. Putin thought this war would be over in in days last year, remember? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it just, Mm -hmm. it didn't work out at all. So when you're a soulmate, it's one of two things. You're either really lucky. You're like, oh, lucky me, I found a great person. Or, oh my gosh, I'll never go through this again. So that, but it also means it's unforgettable, and no one's going to forget yes. Zelensky, right? Zelensky and Putin, who's going to forget this story? Nobody. No, no matter how it nobody. ends, we're not going to forget what happened. But do you do you have an idea how it ends? What is this year going to bring an end, or not necessarily? Well, here's what I think. Uh, when I had held my position on this, see, my gift is to read numbers interpret them, Mm -hmm. and then I start to get that intuitive voice that becomes louder and louder. I was positive that Putin was sick. I knew that his health was in jeopardy. And the word Mm -hmm. is it's worse than ever. I absolutely believe that. So I think if something happens for Putin where he cannot lead, that could Mm -hmm. actually be helpful, right? Because it really is his vision more than anybody else. Like, he's he's old school. He's like back in the day. He just thinks, yes. he just thought he could grab Ukraine and bring it home. <laughs> he yes. just couldn't. Listen, I was on George Norrie. This was like months before it happened, coast to coast. And I said to him, because he's like, well, do you think the war's going to happen? I said, Putin has entered a cycle of five. You never make a big move in the cycle of five. It's always a mistake. You can't, like getting married, it's a mistake. Uh, quitting your job, right. getting another one, not smart. So I knew that if he did do it, it would never go to plan. And look what happened. Look what happened, Carmen. Right, exactly what happened. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I cannot yeah. agree with you that I really believe that the man is not well. No, he's I, sick. I, I he's he's got say. tremendous health issues, really. Like, yeah. I think I think it could be terminal. Yes, I do believe that. Uh, and terminal, listen, yeah. remember, we went, that pandemic took its toll on everybody. But what they right. believe happened with him, it was so isolating. He got, mm-hmm. he got surrounded by, like, yes men only. And he didn't, mm-hmm. he wasn't dealing in reality anymore. I believe that. Right. So, yes, I see shifts happening this year. You're not going to see, like, what we're dealing with right now, the way the year ends with those two, it's not the same. This is going to be, because even if he were to attack, let's say Putin kicks it up a notch. Let's say he tries Mm -hmm. to do anything to do with nuclear. Mm -hmm. If he does that, he loses immediately. Do you understand me? There's no victory there. Absolutely. Yeah. No, so we'll a, see. But I, I feel like let's, I, if people ask me, Glennis, what would you suggest about Putin? I'd say keep your eyes on Putin. Keep an eye on yeah, the real story. Because exactly. it's coming exactly. to light. And the other thing I believe, Carmen, 
because we all have cell phones, because the Ukrainians have family in Russia, and Russia has family in Ukraine, I think they're comparing notes. I think Mm -hmm. the Russian people are waking up. They're not all in denial. The older Russians may be because Mm -hmm. they want to believe him, but not the younger ones. Yes. Well, not the young ones. Look what they did. Go ahead. I was on a TV show two months before the the uh, the war started, and I said he will he will start this war, and he's not well, and he will pay for this war with his hand yes, and he his will. presidency. That yes, was he two will. Two months before the war started, so yeah, I uh, um, no, you're I you're remember. exactly right, and ultimately, mm-hmm. when this is all said and done, there's no way he's in power. That's he's done. Absolutely. He he just played he's this done. wrong, and the mm-hmm. other thing. I wanted to tell you something about last year to tell you the difference between last year and this year. Last year, 2022, was the year of six. Well, it technically was also, because six is a nurturer, it was like Mm -hmm. the year of women. And what you saw is women throughout the world, they did rise up. You saw the Russian Mm -hmm. mothers, when their poor sons had to go, it was mandatory to go to war when they weren't going to be trained properly. You saw them get out in the streets when they're not allowed to protest and they went to jail. You saw that poor girl in Iran with the, is it called hajib? Yes. Is that how you pronounce it? Somehow, That yeah, she didn't yeah. wear it properly, and, they, and the morality pr- police killed her. And But you saw women rise up and say, not acceptable, cut their hair, burning their own hajibs. Right. And then in the end, the morality police was dissolved. They got rid of it right. because of women. Yeah. And then right here in the United mm-hmm. States, I knew... And I mean to my core, the whole Roe v. Wade, you don't have to be pro-choice or pro-life to care about rights as a woman. See, that 50 years of one belief or one thing in our Constitution suddenly being yanked away, Mm -hmm. I knew they would pay dearly, but that women were not going to talk about it because that's an incredibly private issue. So they showed up at the ballot box, and that's why the Republicans did not take the seats they normally would have. They would have taken many more seats. Had that not happened, they they would have taken 30 to 40 seats, and they didn't. Yes. So, but it was women. I'm saying to you, Women, yeah, you're right. Actually, Absolutely I mean, right. uh, yeah. What, so about, what about Biden? What's going on with Biden? Well, let me tell you, Is last it? year was interesting for him. I knew the man was in a personal year of one, which is to win. So what was fascinating mm-hmm. to me, no matter how much flack he got, no matter what numbers the uh, polls were, he kept passing stuff. He got the CHIPS Act done, right? Those right, CHIPS right. being made in America, not in China. He got the Veterans Bill passed, where the veterans will be taking right. better care of. Everything kept passing. And I'll never forget when Newt Gingrich, who is a strong Republican and speaker, said, you know, we got to stop playing this game with uh, Biden. We're so busy putting him down, saying he's, you know, oh, he's... Um, has dementia, but meanwhile he keeps passing bills. <laughs> I find it fascinating right. because that is right. one energy. When you're in a cycle of yeah. one, you find a way to win. But see, the difference is Biden doesn't need attention. He's not running around going, look at me, look at me. That's not him. He's double two. He's not a narcissist. Yeah. No, but it's more than yeah. that. The two is peacemaker, mm-hmm. me- mediator. They want conflict, but they do know how to work with people. So again, we're right. living in a time that's polarized. Uh, right. I happen to be independent. I have voted for both parties many times. So it's not about politics for me. But I can observe right. energy and tell you what's happening. And that's what's happening with Joe. He's now in a cycle of two. Even regarding these documents, I find the document thing, because now Mike Pence, have you heard he had documents? Yeah, I heard. Home? Yes, yes. Okay, so here's what I want to say. The average person who finds out they have documents, like, please take them from me. I, I, didn't, I didn't know I had them. They're in boxes. Get rid of them. They give them to the archives. The difference is our former President Trump wanted them, said they belonged to me, and didn't want to give them up. That is the mm-hmm. difference, and that matters. Big difference. There's no comparison. So, again, all these people will be investigated. That's part of the process. But the difference is especially Pence again, and say, hey, take them, whatever this is, take them. Because imagine right. if you had to upload your life, right? Everything's thrown in boxes. You don't right. know what's in there, you know? Right. And now with this whole thing happening, it's been an eye-opener, hasn't it? Yes. Big yeah, time. so that's what's, that's, okay, so do you, again, w- Do you one see thing. him running again? Will he run again? 
Um, I, what I would tell you is that's on Joe Biden. I can't answer that question. What I'm you telling you is okay. when it is all said and done, it, what that man accomplished, they say in those first two years he's accomplished more than any president in the last 40 or 50 years. Okay? That's just that's a true. fact. So, so unfortunately right, yeah. in politics, we're always in a storm. It's like that eye of mm-hmm. the needle, right? Yeah. The eye of the storm. So people oh. don't see things clearly. But as the numbers lady, I step back. I'm always stepping back to look and see, okay, but what's really happening? What's the truth? Mm -hmm. You know, Carmen, I can hear someone make a sentence. And Mm -hmm. the first part, I'm like, okay, they're telling the truth. And then they suddenly say one sentence. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's a lie. And it's it's a lie. That is my gift Yeah, right there. So... So I'm not clear. It's yeah. not clear to me. Uh, that's on Joe Biden. He decides okay. what he does. I mean, let's face it. The guy is 80. We've never had a president at that age. That happens to be mm-hmm. true. But he knows more than we do. We're not living there, oh, right? Oh, sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, but I do know this. This year of seven, everyone listening, well, if they said, well, what should I focus on? We all have a life path number, Carmen. And right. the life path, if the life path is in alignment with this year, it can make it easier for you. But if it's a challenge to this year, I always give suggestions. So I'm going to teach the life path right now to your right. group. Okay, so here's right. a birthday. Want to write this one down? Okay. Yeah. How about five, someone born 5 2, 1974, and we're going to add it straight across. Five plus two plus one plus nine plus seven plus four. That's 28. Well, in numerology, mm-hmm. you want to continue to reduce it to one digit to get to the basic number, the basic mm-hmm, number mm-hmm. one through nine. So yeah. it's 28. Two plus eight is 10. One plus zero is one. So someone born 5 2, 1974 is a one life path. Now, when I say basic numbers, that means I'm not talking about master numbers. I'm talking about just example, if you were a master number 11, you would go 11 slash 2. If you're a 22, master number 22, 22 slash 4. Okay? Because in yeah. this instance, that's what I'm describing. So then yeah. it goes like this. The 1 is a natural match to 7. So that means it's technically good for that life path. Like, it, it is yeah. the mind number which means they're going to end up living in their head. And I'm saying physical activity will be key. If they can go on a trip, they absolutely should. If you've got that one life path with the seven world number, if you go on some kind of adventure or maybe it's a bucket list trip you take, you're going to be so happy. You're just going to feel like something great will happen. Maybe you'll meet people that you were meant to meet, or maybe you're single and you find the love of your life. It's that kind of thing. And then if you're a two life path, so again, a two life path if you break it down, but also an 11 slash two, the two and the seven, it really invites the psychic within us. Like if you're someone who doesn't always tap into knowing the truth or maybe you second guess yourself, when you're a two in the cycle of seven, the inner voice is louder than ever. So they don't have to second guess, and that's good. But it also means twos are often looking for love. So if they're single, in the cycle of seven, world number, they might just want to pause and work on themselves instead. Like fall in love with themselves, inside themselves, you know? And then three, aren't you a three like I am? Yeah. Okay. So what's happening with threes? When you have the seven energy, truly, Carmen, it means you need to learn to surrender. Like, let it go. (laughs) Like, it's really Uh hard to do. (laughs) As I laugh because I'm in the same boat. But what it means is, here we always have our plans and what we're trying to do. But the seven says, it's okay. Trust the process. It'll come together. You don't have to work as hard as you normally do. So that's what it invites us to do. It also means, like, pampering you. Like, I think about... um, the salt baths, you know, doing a bath, Mm -hmm. getting the massage, you know, getting your skin done, whatever you want to do that just makes you feel better and more pampered and loved. Very good idea for a three in the cycle of seven. And again, I always suggest this, you know, when it's a full moon, to go out there and whatever is troubling you, especially if you can get near water, but just ask the question, what's up? Right. You know, what What do yeah. I need to know? And that, that voice will be very strong. 
And when you're having a conversation, Carmen, with someone who you've decided is full of baloney, <laughs> you don't have to join in, Carmen. You can just step back right. and go, oh, interesting, right? Like, you don't right, have to right. explain whether it, they're wrong, it's not true. You don't have to do it. You do not. You can step back and go, I'm just going to let them talk in circles. I'm not going to worry about it. Right. So that's right, nice. Right. It's a break. I see that as a nice break. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And a four life path. Someone who's a four, the four is in alignment with seven. So I'm suggesting the four, if they're not spiritual, they have to work on that spiritual side. Because right. that cynic, when they're cynical, they're, they can be so negative. You know, when the four is not happy, they're very direct already, so they can cut you down and act like they didn't say anything. They're like, what? What did I say? So this is about working on uh, finding new words, but also educating yourself. What you don't know, pick up the book. Learn something you don't, you'll feel much better. The cycle of five. Freedom, fun, adventure. Well, because the five is in alignment with seven, again, I say it's movement. If you've been stuck in your home the last couple of years, get out. Get out and do something different. Really, it'll make all the difference. And fives are very particular, so they have to be careful who they spend their time with. Again, adventure. Get out there and meet someone you never never dreamed you'd meet. You know, you have to make that effort because it invites you to. The cycle of six... Now, again, we're dealing with, like, Putin, that 6-7, it means you're going to overthink some stuff. You might overprocess, and I'm telling right. you, make your decision and then move on. Don't overthink it. It's not worth your time. Just make a decision right. and say, I'm, I'm moving forward. The cycle of right. 7, now, now we're talking 7-7. Seven, seven. So if someone's a 7 life path and a 7, you know how they're talking about UFOs right now? <clears throat> a lot. Right. Right. Well, I'm telling you, if you wanted a number that'd be the first to jump on the spaceship, it's a seven. The seven <laughs> barely understands humans. They're like, why am I here again? So if they can find a way to get away, <laughs> they will. <laughs> so I just say, if you're a seven life path in the world number seven, look for your spaceship. <laughs> look for the place to go that makes you get away from it all. And then cycle of eight... Eight is about finances. Uh, it's about watching what you say, because, again, eight is a very direct energy. If you are direct and you don't think to edit, in a cycle of seven, that could backfire on you. Like someone you love might misinterpret you, and then if they were to break up, you'd be crushed because you didn't mean any harm. You, were just, right, you thought you right. were just speaking the truth, but we still have to be careful how we lay out those words. So eights should pay right. attention to that. Also, always about health keeping an eye on the physical, don't ignore it. If the back right. hurts, get right. it checked before it goes out on you. And then right. nine, nine I see is kind of a break because nine is considered the old soul number. And when I said right. seven is spiritual, I think the nine could have an epiphany in the cycle. Like that world number wants it to have breakthroughs and wants it to right. feel better because nines often feel very responsible for the people in their life, but they don't feel valued. Like they feel people take right. advantage and the seven is saying, okay, then let's get back to you. What's going to bring you joy? What do you want to do right. differently this year to make yourself happy? Right. That's what I see. Fabulous. Now, yeah. um, the, I want to ask you if it's okay to go and of get course. some. I have so many, so many ladies waiting to speak with you. Is that okay? Of course. So many callers. Okay, wonderful. Uh, and first, I'm going to start with me. I'm going to ask you a question. So I'm supposed to do a show on the same station with George Nori. What do you think about that? Well, now, what do you mean by that? Do you mean uh, do so you mean I'm, on I'm coast to coast, own, or do you mean com- competing? I'm going to. I'm, no, I'm not competing with him. But I'm on the same station with him, doing my own show. What do you think of that? Will that work for me? I need to know what you mean. I'm still confused because you know he's in 500 markets. Are you saying you're in the same markets or do you, where so do you mean? I'm going to say in the same markets, yeah. It's okay. the same station. Yeah, do you think that's going to work for me? Well, here's what I would say. I mean, give me your month and day, Karen. I don't have that. Month uh, and March day. March 25th. March 25th. Okay, so you're born on a seven day. Look at you. So now that's interesting. So here you are born on a seven day and you're a three life path. And we're dealing with the world number seven, and you're three. So you've always had a little duality in your personality. 
you see? Yes. Because your seven is the one that can shut it down. Like, if you need a break, you know how to find a way to take a break, correct? Right, right. Yeah, yeah you have to because of the seven. But you also, when I talk about being the vehicle, you've always been that. You've always known that you were a vehicle in helping others. Like, that it was coming through you. It didn't come through your mind. It came through your body. Right. Right. Okay, so technically this year you've entered a world number eight. Eight means mm-hmm. financial. So is this a financial break of some sort as well? Maybe. I don't know yet. Yeah. Well, then one of us, and I don't mean me, <laughs> needs to do a <laughs> prosperity affirmation. We can't have you saying that. <laughs> I've, I've never put up with that. I wouldn't even know how to say maybe in my brain. Okay, let's let's work on that. Wait, let me think of one I'd give you. Hold on. Um, my health is strong. You know, one that I've been enjoying. How are you feeling physically? How are you feeling? Me, I'm okay. I feel okay now. Yeah. Okay. So I, I still want you to do this one. I am healthy. Write that down. I am healthy, strong, and Mm. prosperous. I am healthy, healthy, strong, and prosperous. prosperous. I'm writing it down. You you need to write that down, and you need to chant that sucker, like no less than 15 minutes a day. I am healthy, strong, and prosperous. Because here's the thing. It not only could this take off and be a really good thing for you, but you need your stamina for it. You know, right. you need to be able to feel excited and happy mm-hmm. about it. So if you're mm-hmm. saying, I'm healthy, strong, and prosperous, you are giving your whole body permission for this. And the prosperity yes. must be a part of it. You know, um, I always say, God put you on a planet that costs money. He better have a plan for you to make some. So when right. you do this, you mm-hmm. want it. Look, you. the thing about right. you and this goes back to you being a three, you're a generous person. Carmen, if you can help someone, you naturally want to. So that means if this takes off and does well for you, then you'll be able to help others, you know, in charity. Right. I agree with you. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. But I am also going to say the reason I gave you that affirmation, when we're in the cycle of eight, we have to pay attention to our health. How do I feel? Right. You know, is my head hurt? Am I getting headaches? How's my right. diet? Does my stomach hurt? What's going on with me? When you work right. on all that and do that affirmation, all doors open. Right. Fabulous. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, my God. You're the best. We're going to go to my first caller who's waiting for almost two hours. And that's Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm sorry you have to wait so long, but you have a chance to, to speak with the all, one and only Glynis. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Hi, how Okay, are you? date of birth? 3-2-1972. And what's your question? I'm about work. I'm trying to get a promotion. This is a good year for that. Oh, okay. Hold on one sec. Let's see. You're in a cycle of three. Okay. Technically, you're born on a two-day. Oh, well, I have to ask you this because, you know, as a sixth life path, you're meant to be the boss. Like, you're supposed to manage or run something. Do you? Do you for this job? Um, I will be if I get the promotion. Well, then I'm telling you that has to be the focus. Like, I, I, I mean, I always hate when somebody else is in charge of what we get. Like, when we kick our lives up a notch, Shirley, counting on someone else is frustrating for you, I would say. Isn't that true? Mm-hmm. Oh, of course it is. Here's what I say about sixes. When a six life path works for someone else, you often watch someone get the paycheck you deserve. Yeah, and then on the show you do run it. I, I'll bet money. You are already doing the job that you're hoping to be promoted for. Does that make sense? Yes. yes it is okay. Exactly. I know. I know. So here's the thing. You happen to be in a personal year of three, which is lovely, because when we're in a cycle of three, it means we have the ability to sell and convince others of our worth. So you, you're in a good cycle for this. But I want to know one thing. Tell me what it is you do. Give me a sense. Do you run an office? What is it? I work in retail. Okay. Well, and how about this? You can sell the ice cube to the Eskimo. <laughs> you know you can. You're ridiculously talented. Shirley, uh-huh. you're really good. Like, if you like something, you will get the person you're talking to to like it, too. Okay? Mm-hmm. So what would I be doing if that were me? 
Uh, you're, a, you're in a personal year of three, so what prosperity would I be saying? You know, let, let's put it this way. If you get that promotion, you end up making more money, right? Yes, a lot more money. Right. So I would say... I I would say just do the simple one that I always used to do for years before I had all my stuff happen, okay? It was Louise Hay, who Carmen and I adore, but the words are simple. I pay my bills with ease, and I always have extra money. Write that down. I pay my bills with ease, and I always have extra money. I pay my bills with ease, and I always have extra money. And by the way, do you get commission on the stuff you're selling or just hourly? Um, We get bonuses. Well, you are going to chant that sucker like it's your job, your second job, Shirley. You do it 15 minutes a day, do it before you go to work, and you just watch what happens with the sales that you have. You're going to kick it to another level, and then they're going to have to be impressed enough to promote you. Okay, great. Yeah, so there you go. (laughs) Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my Shirley. Uh, I'm going to go to Rafala because I think she's uh, from a different part of the world. Hi, Rafala. How are you, my dear? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Good to talk to you. So you ha- if you have a question, please feel free to ask Glynis. Well, I need a full date of birth first, always. Sure. So give, so, give her the burden. Um, yeah, 02 1962 See, that messed my brain up. Okay, you were born February what? February 14. 14, 1962. So are you saying Valentine's Day? Yes, I am. Yes. You poor little thing. That's a tricky day to be born on. <laughs> it really is. Okay. And is your name Rafaela? Yes, it is. Rafaela. Okay. So here's what I would tell you. <laughs> the first thought I want to say, you have been through so much in this lifetime. You could ha- you could write a movie about it. Is that true? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, your life has been ridiculous. Like, when you're born on a five-day with an eight, sometimes things happen, and you're like, I cannot believe this is happening to me. What is this? Why is this happening? So my analogy, if the eight is at a stop sign, someone runs the stop sign, and you just go a little over, you're going to get the ticket. Okay. You get the ticket. It's like you, you can never say to the universe, what else could go wrong? You That's can't true. ask the universe what could go wrong because it will show off, Rafaela. That's true. It'll make sure you find out what else could go wrong. So don't do that. This year, you're in a cycle of five. Now, five gives you free. You have to surrender to the speed of this year. This year's going to move real fast for you. Are you already feeling it? Yes, yes. But okay. Little, okay. Let me just tell you, I lost my job six months ago, and I uh-huh. just keep on getting... I, I get, like, uh, you know, a job, and then it doesn't work out in the system, and then I, I don't get that job. It's happened, like, four times since last July. So I'm having a right. hard time getting a job. Right. So here's what I would tell you. Technically, you've entered a cycle of five, which makes it a little tricky when it comes to getting a job that would be permanent. So I think what you need to do is get your mind in the zone of, um, I welcome a job. Okay. And it's okay if I don't stay in that job. Like, what I want to say is, whatever you get this year, something better is going to show up, right? Within, you know, I always say it's by the end of the year because next year a cycle of six is like power. You take your power back, you're calling the shots. It's very okay. different. Okay. But this year, yeah, open yourself up to a job and then put the feelers out because something, something very good is coming. It just may not be right now because the cycle five, when I tell you it moves fast, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, here we're in January. You're going to blink. It's going to be June. You'll be like, how the hell is it June? Or should I say, how the heck is it June? (laughs) Right? But, Rafaela, um, the other suggestion, are you married? Is there family? What do you have? Like, who could you hang out with? Married with three kids. Okay. And grandkids. How can you get out uh, to go play and have some fun, even if it's just a weekend with a friend? Can you do that? Yes, I can, I can do that, yes. I need to do Okay, I really, I can't emphasize this enough. When you're in a cycle of five, you have to get away to play. You've got to get back to you. Because that means whatever's bothering you when you're at the house, when you get away, you can see it differently. And I need you to see things differently to feel better. Because right now you're freaking out. It's like, oh, my gosh, I lost the job. I can't get a job. No, life is timing. 
And right now, Cycle 5 says, let's have fun. Let's have some fun for you, Rafaela. Oh, thank you. That sounds so good. Thank you. Yes, you deserve thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you You're so welcome. Much. Okay, beautiful, really Rafaela. I'm going to go to Rosemary in Ontario. Hi, my dear Rosemary. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Glennis. How are you, girls? <laughs> Hanging in there. How about you? Good, good, good. Thanks. So I'm October 4th, 66. 10, 4, 66. One on a four day, five, six. So, wow, you. here we have, and what's your first name? Rosemary. 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 So we're dealing again, and this is very common, and I've told you this before, Carmen, that we get energy that repeats itself, like energy will come through the phone line that's similar. So in Rosemary's case, she's got the five attitude. She's born on a four day. And then let's confirm this, five, six. She looks like she's a nine. Is that correct, Rosemary? Or do you know your numbers? Yes. Yes, it's a nine. Yep. Right. So the first thought I'd have you're really responsible. Like, you know, four is part of you is yeah. like, if I, make, if I make a commitment, I try to stand by it. But then with that five, it means no matter how smoothly you wish it would go, there's always some stupid drama, some chaos that happens. And that's really frustrating for you because you don't want any of that. You like it to be mm-hmm. solid. You like to know what's going on. And then with that nine, when you were little, who would you say, like mom or dad, was emotionally unavailable? Who was not as supportive as you wish they had been when you were little? Yeah, 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 probably dad. Yeah. Your dad. My so dad. that, yeah. and then did you end up having kids? Yes, I did, too. How, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you, as a nine, right, but with that emotional scar from the lack of support, it became your mission to try to be the best parent ever if you could. Does that make sense? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you, you were obsessed. It's like, I'm yeah. going to try to make everything magical because I didn't right. have that. <laughs> right? Exactly. So I always think, when I look at you, child, I think of holidays, you know, making things beautiful. Or when it comes to giving a gift, you can't wait to give that perfect gift to see that person be all excited. Mm-hmm. True? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a so perfect what? gift, usually, of my own, yeah. of my own written word. Yeah. Yeah. And so what is your question? Actually, it was career. I'm just wondering if there'll be a fork in the road. Um, not necessarily change, but maybe. Yeah. Well, work, technically, I'll put it to you this way. If you said to me, Glennis, I'm wondering, could I make a change this year? And would it would it not be a mistake? Like, could it be good for me? The answer is yes. Because right. you entered a cycle of three. Three is a natural match to your nine. And remember what I said, mm-hmm. when we're in the zone in a person year three, we are very convincing. It's like being an actress. Uh, you could be upset in one room right. and then you walk in the other and you turn on the charm. You know, you can do that. So Perfect. what do you, what would you consider doing differently, like work-wise? Tell me, because you know my specialty so is it, to say if it's worth your while. Go ahead. Right. It would be similar to what I do now. Um, I work in a school for students with disabilities. Wow. Okay, um, great. But just maybe shifting, maybe shifting onto a committee of some sort. Still in the same field, but just maybe another angle. Right. So let me tell you something. As a nine, remember the nine is the old soul number, and they're meant to be mm-hmm. in a position of leadership. Like you would never abuse the privilege, Rosemary. When you're in charge of something, you're really compassionate and kind to people. And what bothers you is when you see someone in leadership who doesn't know what they're doing. And I'll bet you've been a witness to that. Okay. And then the four means once you learn the skill, you're able to teach it to others. So my answer is yes. Mm -hmm. You, You should get yourself in that state of mind. Now, what I would recommend, my, I have that affirmation to attract more prosperity, but I actually have affirmations to help you with the job interview. You know, or actually advice on how to get the job, because that's what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. You, you don't just want to, you're hoping for the shift, but the truth is you deserve it. How long have you done this job? 25 years. Hi, 25. I'm sound asleep. Yep. 25 years, dedicated, <laughs> and that's that four. <laughs> the four yeah. is like a soldier of life. That's what I meant about you make a commitment, you stand by it, but you're ready to do it differently. Yes, you are. Uh huh. And the answer mm-hmm. is yes. This will be a good year to pursue that. Great. Wonderful. Thanks, Amazing. Thanks, yep. Carmen. Uh, and I'm going to go now to Patty in New York. Hi, Patty. 
Is that Betty, me? Can you hear me? Yes, is that me? Hello? Betty, can you hear me? Oh, this Patty, Patty in, Oklahoma. in Oklahoma? Hi, hi. In Oklahoma. Oh, hi, Patty. Oh, okay, hi, my dear. Hello. <laughs> hi, I my lovely. So tickled. I am so tickled to talk to you. I am May 11th, 1952. I was born on Mother's Day. For that particular time, right? Because it it's yes. changes all the time, Mother's Day. Yes. Okay, it right. does. Seven, seven, eight, eight, seven, six. Do you have kids, and how many if you do? I have a daughter and a son, and we lost our daughter two years ago with COVID. Oh, so Patty, one son. <clears throat> that had to be oh so incredibly devastating for you because yeah. you are a mother through and through. Like that, if we talk about sometimes we have life purpose in our chart, it's a, a six feels called to be a parent. So that's very true for you, like being a mother. So anything like that, because you have no control over that. You couldn't fix it. So, no. yeah, that would be very hard for you. Uh, what is your question? Uh, health and uh, finances. In just okay. Year so in I'm going to say this. The, because you've entered a cycle of five, remember what I keep saying. It means full speed ahead. Things move fast. What I'm suggesting, uh, Patty, do you ever get, like, do you get the stomach pain, neck pain, back pain? What, where are your pains in your body? Back. I, I'm your a back gardener pain. and hurt my back. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. So the back means not, it also means not feeling supported and also means worried yes. about finances, right? So you've already heard okay. me give a couple uh, financial affirmations. And I ha- yes. honestly can say I have, especially men, you know, because so many times a man who's got the family, he feels really obligated to succeed. And he'll call me mm-hmm. with his horrible back. His lower back is killing oh, yeah. him. Right? Yeah. And then I have him do his uh, financial op- uh, affirmations, and he- it gets rid of the pain. So okay, my suggestion, I'd keep it simple. I would go with I pay my bills with ease, and I always have extra money. Because that Got one, it. you're just telling the universe, listen, I don't mind. Here's the thing about you. You don't mind paying bills if you've got the money. But you get real uh-huh. scared if you don't feel like you have enough. That's your fear. Yeah. So when we yeah. do that affirmation, I pay my bills with ease and I always have extra money. And you might even consider karmas where I said, I'm healthy, strong, and prosperous. Because right mm-hmm. now, you're not feeling strong. You are not. Mm-hmm. You know, no. you. the thing about you... You do internalize a lot because you've got that seven attitude, which means you don't always want to talk to people. Like, you don't know if they really care anyway. You feel like, you right. know, they count on, right? They count on you more than you can count on them. Yes. And as a result, yes. it goes inside the body. So if you're saying, I'm healthy, strong, and prosperous, you're telling your body, it's okay to be strong. I want to be healthy because mm-hmm. you want to be mm-hmm. able to live your life, but you want to feel good while you're living it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I, that's I my suggestion. Have- I just had a uh, hammer toe surgery this morning. Oh, so, my goodness. Uh, See, and okay. by the way, did that, like, even prevent you from walking? Uh, yes, it, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I could have yeah. worn shoes since October. Right. So, so what that means, like, this goes back to belief about our body. Anytime our feet get messed with, it means fear of moving forward, fear of where am I going. And you know that's true for you, right? Yes. Of course. I'm just, I'm losing losing our daughters just really. No, no. Uh, like, I, I want to do, uh, give me her date of birth real quick, because I already know her Her angel energy is completely with you, and I know that. And I don't, I don't feel her at all. That's, That's what's because so she, let me, give me the date of birth before I say anything. Go ahead. Okay. February 10, 1974. 1974. Born on a one day, three, four. So she was a fellow six. So technically, interesting. Was she? Would you say she was stubborn? She was strong, strong willed. Yes. Yes, she was, and and that means she wasn't really open to suggestion per se. But I'm telling you, did she end up having kids too? She gave us six beautiful children. Right, because I'm telling oh, you, wow. just like you, she was called to be a mother. Okay, so here That's you are, both of you being mother energy. And then she's born on a one day. But this is what's funny. Like, when I lost my grandfather, Jackson Parks was the love of my life. And I cried Mm -hmm. for months. 
a good year, I'd say. And then one day it occurred to me, he had become a part of me. Like, I knew he was with me. So when you say, I don't feel her, I'm telling you, she yeah. jumped right in. If you think she was going to leave that whole family, good luck, Patty. Oh, yeah. She was never, no, she's right there keeping an eye on the yeah. family, but also you. You Listen, that's why you need to be strong, by the way. Like, that would be the message from her. You need to be strong because she needs you to do it. She can't right now here. But you yeah. really are a natural match, which so makes your energy. Yeah, we so very- I'm, I'm sorry, very sorry for the loss, but all those kids are a blessing, and they're counting on you oh, a lot. Yes. yes. Yeah. The oldest one's given us two uh, great-grandsons, so we're really blessed there. You are yeah, so no, blessed. it's a blessing. So and I do have a yeah. suggestion on how to get her to at least come to you in a dream. What okay. I know works, so I've done it many times. You take pictures of her, just find beautiful photos, like one to study at uh-huh. nighttime, Study her pictures. Find the ones where she's really joyful. Light your candle and just study her face before you go to sleep. And I promise you, as you continue, she will come through. She will. I know it. I will. I will do that tonight. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good, good. I'm I'm enrolled in your class. I love you. Yes, yes, the class is going to be so good. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, We're at the end of the show, everybody. I'm so sorry. June, Carrie, Hakeem. Um, Kim, uh, Lelani, all of you guys, I know how many. All you can do, go to Glynis, that, uh, numberslady.com and participate on this amazing workshop that she's doing this weekend. Please go subscribe, be part of this event because, you know, there's only one Glynis. So, um, number one numerologist in the world. Glennis, I am so grateful to you. I love you. I adore thank you. Thank you. And, uh, love you too, Carmen. I don't know how to thank you. I adore you. I love you. I love everybody.